the idea here is to put all the plants of La Selva in internet. We have been working on this since 2000, and this project has been sponsored by the National Science Foundation of the United States, CRUSA, and we have been in touch with a lot of uh, uh, botanists and taxonomists from the world, especially from Missouri Botanic Garden and Duke. The idea here is to go out to the field, take pictures of plants like these ones right here, like this interesting, beautiful, colorful plant, and allow researchers to search the plant based on images and text. For that, um, we have our website already um, set for everybody and it's open and, and free for all the users of the world. And basically it has uh, search engines, it has an uh, interesting um, image collection or gallery collection of 20,000. And so I would like to kind of go and show you straight the image gallery, which is the most useful ones. There you can find, you can go in different ways. You can search by hierarchy or you can go by the total species list or by common name. Once you get to the main, to the main website, you can find all the different divisions of the plants, um, including the, the ferns, and you have the angiosperms and the gymnosperms. So I would like to show you an example of this species that I just got here on the family Heliconiesi. So once you know a little bit more about the plants, you can go to the family straight, search for the genus, and then there you can find the species. And once you have this, you get to this piece, you have a gallery of images, and then you can just enlarge the image, and then you can have the search right here. So now you know you have the image on the website, you have the plan here, and this is one of the final products we want. We want the researchers and the scientists to be able to um, find the species. And for the ferns, based on all these nice efforts that have been done lately by, by researchers, in the case of Deidre, that's trying to make a nice garden of the ferns of La Selva, we have on our website, 70% of the ferns are illustrated in some way. So I would like to show you an example of how they look like once we have them here, because ferns don't have choey flowers or big fruits, so they're quite difficult to ID. But we believe that little by little, putting together all these interesting collections of, of live plants and dry specimens in the herbarium and um, live pictures like these ones, people will be able to ID the ferns using this amazing tool. So here you can see the whole, the whole fern. Or you can go back, go back to, the main, uh, to the main website and search for a flat image of the fern where you can see scales and the size and see details of those plants. Again, ferns don't have flowers and so it will be a little harder for, for, for the users to ID them um, using, using uh, only books or um, dry specimens in the herbarium. We believe that illustrating the ferns in this way is going to be uh, uh, a great way of doing the ferns through computers.